Hey guys, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We are at Summer NAM in Nashville, talking to Austin from Boss. Austin, how's it going? Hey, how's it going, Sean? Doing well. You were just playing one of the cool new pedals that you guys came out with just, well, just right now. <laughs> the, what's it called? The MD500 Modulation? Yeah, this one's called the MD500. This is to complete our, uh, our 500 series of pedals that we released. Um, the MD500 features a 32-bit 96 kps processor, um, which is the highest quality audio level that we can get. Um, you have 12 different types of modulatory effects that you can stack on top of each other, route them in different directions. Uh, these pedals do do full-on stereo, which is what I'm running through now. You could hook up expression pedals, which is the example that I was using to control the speed of the Univibe. Uh, you also have USB ports on the back, so you can use Tone Studio editors to edit all of the sounds in your computer and back them up, as well as MIDI capabilities, so you can sync all of your 500 series pedals together to have them talk to each other. Nice. Do you want to play a couple other sounds for us? Sure, sure. I got a really nice uh, tremolo on here. That's pretty trippy. We're standing between stereo cabs here, so I'm. We only have a mic on one, so it's probably not tripping you guys out as much as it is here. It's almost like disorienting, like, oh. <laughs> uh, okay, Tremo, what else you got? Uh, there's also a very musical uh, ring modulator on here, which is really cool. And I also tied the expression pedal to this as well to control the, um, the rate of the ring modulator. So it kind of sounds a little something like this. That's pretty cool. That's not something I would say a lot of people associate with Boss. So that's pretty neat yeah. to see that kind of craziness in there. Yeah, these pedals do a really good job of combining both the, the experimental effect guy that really wants to cater and create different sounds, but it also has a long list of very usable sounds like choruses and phasers and all sorts of variations of those things also. All right, well, I'm sure we could spend a lot more time on that, but we got other stuff to talk about. So should we move to the RV500 Reverb? Sure, the RV500 is cool. Same, uh, same type of processor, 32-bit, 96K ADA converter. Um, and this one features some of the features from the MD500 in which you can reroute those reverbs around each other, series and parallel. Um, same concept, you have 12 types of all different kinds of reverbs, uh, going from standard springs and plates all the way to experimental uh, slow verb effects, uh, wind sounding effects and shimmer reverbs. Um, so here's... Wind sound, huh? Yeah. What is that? I like the I'm wind. <laughs> I want to hear that one. All right. Let's see if I can get that up here. Very different. I don't think I've ever heard a pedal that did a reverb like that. Very, very different kind of reverb. Um, so, um, also on all these 500 pedals, you can actually determine what the tap tempo control will be. You can assign it to any parameter. So in this patch, I have a shimmer reverb, and the tap tempo control is going to do a hold function. So it basically can create this freeze type of tone, so I can strum a chord and hold it down, kind of like this. That's right? really cool, yeah. Now, can you assign the expression pedals to multiple parameters? Absolutely. Or? You can assign that expression pedal to do eight things because there is an eight list of assignments in each one of these pedals. Okay, sweet. Now, anything else you want to show us in that before we move on to a couple other things? Sure, sure. There's actually, um, here's one thing that's actually really cool about it. Um, there's a, a form called slow verb. 
And what slow verb does, it's in the SFX section, and it's an auto volume swell. So it's a slow gear and a reverb of ours mixed together. Um, and this is really good for all of those swelling type of sounds, almost pad-like synth sounds. Also inside of that slow verb you can control some of the harmonics that you're hearing in the background. So you can have more upper harmonics or more lower harmonics depending upon what type of texture you're going for. Some of those upper harmonics I was hearing are it sounds weird, I guess, but almost like steel drum-ish. Yeah, very, and it almost has like a, a, a ping to it. Very, very pingy, but it works very well with the reverb because it kind of swells into it. And you can basically dial it and cater it into anything you really want. Cool. How much are these going for? Uh, all three pedals will be going for three forty nine each. So yeah, we talked about the new modulation and reverb. Uh -huh. and they're the same price as the DD five hundred delay that's already been out for a little bit. That's yes. what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So right here, you want to tell us about this new little amp? Oh, this little guy. He's so awesome. So this is the newest uh, addition to the Katana series. Is Katana Mini. So uh, we derived three channels from the Katana amplifier, clean, crunch, and brown. Um, and unlike most other amplifiers in this class, it actually features multiple gain stages. So this allows you to get feedback and even order harmonics as you're playing into the amp on high gain levels. Uh, you have a three level tone stack, bass, middle, and treble. Uh, you also have a little bit of delay in there to add some searing leads. You can run this off of six AA batteries on the back or optional uh, wall outlet input. You can plug your phones into it. You can take audio from this and plug it into other things. Uh, it's seven watts and features a, a four-inch speaker. I don't even have to ask questions. You just covered everything. How, well, I guess one. How much does it go for? It goes for ninety-nine, ninety-nine. Cool. Um, I think we need to grab someone else who's going to tell us about one more really cool thing you guys are doing at this show, right? Is it Jeff? We're going to talk to about the fortieth yes, anniversary Jeff, pedals. Jeff will, Jeff will go over with you uh, about the about the new. Uh, uh, box 40 set, the limited edition 40th anniversary pedals. Sweet. Well, thanks for helping us out with these Sweet ones, Austin. Sure. I'm going to grab Jeff. All right, guys, so we've got a little treat here. It's not just Jeff that we're going to talk to about the new Boss pedals. We've got Yoshi Iki. <laughs> Tell me how to say your last name. Yoshi right. Ikigami. Ikigami. Yeah. So you designed these 40th anniversary pedals. These are... Actually, my designer, engineers designed. Just, you know, uh, we... Uh, created this project idea, you know. So maybe you might know our policy. Boss never make reissue stuff, but for celebrating 40th year anniversary of Boss Compact Pedal, this is totally special stuff. These are the first three Boss Compact yes. pedals that ever came out. Yeah. Do you remember the year? I, yeah. I mean, obviously, it's it's the, a, I can't do math. 1977. Yeah. Yeah. So for this year, uh, this year. And right after this release, I joined to Roland, 1978. So they are longer than me. <laughs> <laughs> They've been there longer than you. Yeah. Okay, so are these exact replicas of the early pedals, like exact same circuits and components, like new old stock components, or? Uh, actually, some part we uh, changed the design because of the quality and also AC adapter thing or LED uh, working. So, uh, some like to get more reliable parts, yeah. and maybe some of them aren't made anymore. Mm -hmm. Some of those old parts. Yes, uh, we cannot purchase exact same parts, so we carefully selected okay. to realize original tone. Okay. Now, are these going separately, only in the box set here? Only or? box, only box set. Okay. And also, th this is very limited run, only fifteen hundred units. Okay. For the whole world, 1,500 units? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and how much are they going to go for? Should I ask eight, Jeff that? Yeah, eight, <laughs> yeah. Say that again. $899. Street price? Yeah, that's the amount. Okay. Anything you want to add about them? Well, it's really exciting to have these come back because, you know, 40 years ago in 1977, they, a boss came out with a compact design. The design has remained pretty much unchanged for the last 40 years, right? And it's one of the things that Boss is known for. The pedals live forever, they're, they, you kind of kind of can't kill them. And there's a lot of really unique things in them. First off, the OD-1, it's the first pedal ever known to use the word overdrive in it. 
Second off, it's the first pedal, it had a, uh, um, a, a patent on asymmetric clipping so it could get even order harmonics. So pedals that have been made for years and years could only do odd order harmonics and it could get even order harmonics trying to work well with like, like a tube amplifier. Uh, the Spectrum, uh, the SP-1, it's one of the rarest pedals that Boss has made and it's one of the highest uh, uh, you know, on the used market as far as dollar figure. They're very, very expensive and very, very hard to find. And it's a really... Let's remind people what the Spectrum actually does. The Spectrum, it's kind of a mid-range boost. For, uh, you kind of pick the frequency. And it really dr uh, drives the uh, amp a little bit forward. It's, uh, in my mind, it's a little bit like when you jump tra channels on a Marshall. You know, how, how they, it's that mid-range yeah. boost that kind of drives it a little bit more. Okay. That was one of the things that it did. And it's a really unique tone that there has kind of led a lot of the distortion uh, pedal designs and ideas. And then, of course, the PH1 was the first flanger that actually ha had a feedback loop in it, so it has a really strong flange in it, right? So the three are really unique in the, not only the construction and design of the products, the sound of the products, and really they kind of launched, uh, you know, the last 40 years of, of Boss, uh, you know, into to what we do. We were, uh, it's the first three of over 118 pedals. Uh, over 15 million of them have been sold, sold worldwide. And in today's um, the Boss right now, we sell over 55 actual compact pedals. So to have those three come back is really exciting for our, for those of us who are bo big Boss pedal fans. And uh, you know, I'm really thrilled that we did these as, as an homage to everybody. So the three of them come in a set, and the three of them share the exact same serial number. So uh, they'll be you know, like, like that's 381. All three match, so you want to keep them together. You don't want to lose them, right? Uh, match them up. So it, it's really fun. Very cool. Well, thanks, Jeff, for showing us that stuff. Thank you for Thank joining you us, much. Yoshi. Yeah. Um, Jeff, you want to tell everyone where to go online to find out more about these and all the other stuff we talked about with Austin? Yeah, you want to go to boss.com, right, and uh, look up uh, the products. Um, they'll be there along with the other products that we've announced at the show, and we've got a whole slew of products we re released this year, so please go to see what we're up to because it's a lot of fun stuff. Cool. Thanks for joining us, Jeff. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com.